That's a nice growler. Skull Camp. Jake C. Peanut. Double IPA. Knuckle Dragger. 9%. It's Larry 22, and we both, well, we got two more weeks until Christmas. Holy cow, time is just flying by this year. So, as you saw in the intro, uh, Skull Camp uh, Bruin. This is Jake C. Peanut. That's his brewery down in Elkin, North Carolina. So, we're going to go ahead and get a pour on this. Normally, I do uh, homebrew, but tonight, let's see what we got here. Oh, nice hiss. The only reason why I say it's a nice hiss is because... I got this like uh, two weeks ago. So let's see what we got here. Oh, look at the car. Oh, I might overcarb this. Oh, bad pour, Larry. Bad pour. But still got good carbonation. And wonderful smell. Wonderful. So it's a double IPA. And it is called a knuckle dragger. So I already had this before down there. So uh, Looney Tune glass for the evening is uh, Porky the Pig. Look at him. He's uh, sporting his little cap there. <laughs> so so anyways, uh, uh, drinking uh, drinking this uh, homebrewers homebrewers uh, commercial beer. But uh, let's get into the uh, the homebrew Wednesday. So uh, I did. Did my transfer of my drop dropkick Nate? Uh, I got that on CO2 now. Uh, right now, the beers I have on tap are I have a black IPA, and I have the uh, I have my smash, my Cascade Cascade smash. I also have in here is a coconut IPA. So coconut IPA is tasting really good. Uh, it's still not carved up uh, fully, but it's getting there. And Dropkick Nate is in my keyser. And I also have, I have the dry, Driveway Troll uh, uh, Black, New Zealand Black IPA in there, in the keyser also. Trying to save it, I gotta get Homebrew 62 over here so I can give him probably a six pack or 12 pack. So, uh, let me get a taste on this. Oh, nice, nice, nice hops. So, uh, I am going to be doing a project next week. Uh, my friend Bo, he is, uh, he's, he's doing all grain. We just converted him to all grain and uh, we found a good deal online and we got, we're going to build him a mash ton. And we got this uh, 10 gallon igloo uh, cooler, 40 bucks. And uh, we are... Actually, I got him two of those. One for the hot liquor tank, because he's going to do the same thing as I do. Uh, because I'm teaching him, so he might as well do the same thing as I do. It makes it easier. Uh, once I upgrade some way down the road, then I'll probably just give my mash ton to someone else. But right now, this will be, allow him to make a bigger, a bigger batch. And then we also, uh, bargainfittings.com. But uh, this is exactly what I use in mine. I just use a uh, the the plumbing hose, a stainless steel braid. So this is what I use. This is what he's going to use. And then uh, we got a couple couple valves and got some fittings and everything like that. So I I foresee that this is only going to take us maybe maybe a half an hour to put together both the hot liquor tank and and the master. So, uh, and the best thing about this is the total for this thing, for both the mash ton and the hot liquor tank, less than $160, less than $160. And he's going to have, he's going to be a full up round being able to do mat mashing it and mashing, uh, sparging everything. So, uh, 
we're looking good there. So, not much else is going on. Uh, I'm going to have a brew day probably next next Tuesday. Next Monday or Tuesday, I'm going to be doing a brew day. And I finally remembered uh, from my last Brew Wednesday, I couldn't remember what I wanted to do. And that was a, uh, I want to do a session IPA. I've already uh, thought I'm going to be doing the Centennial and Amarillo hops in it. And it's going to be coming right, right around 45, between 45 and 50 IBUs. And it should be right around four and a half percent. So, so I'm really looking forward to doing a, a quick, quick down and dirty session IPA. Uh, upstairs, I still have the which one do I have? Uh, I got my vanilla porter that's still in primary. Uh, I should be transferring that pretty soon, probably this weekend. And. And then I, I'm going to rack it over and then put uh, coconut nibs on top. Uh, I talked to Kevin Clements and he th recommends that I should roast my uh, my uh, uh, coconut nibs and see how that how that does it or what it does for that. So I think that's about it. Uh, it's going to be a short homebrew Wednesday and so that's it. Uh, I will see you guys next week and I should have brew day footage for you. Uh, doing the uh, session IPA and I should I probably be doing that by myself so because it's gonna be a work day I have off for two weeks two weeks I'll be off so I'm totally stoked about having my time off and uh, but that should be the last brew day should be the last brew day I'm pretty stoked or pretty stocked up on on beer in my keezers unless I get to have some friends over soon so I will talk to you guys next week yep it'll be christmas eve next week and uh i am out of here peace